It's a mystery. How we make our way through Yu-Gi-Oh's history. So join us as we go through the I Am No Progression series. But um bum bum. <laughs> Previously on the I Am No Progression series. Ninja Grand Master. Master. A oh boy, Mystic Swordsman level two. By the way, this guy's fucking art right here looks insane. Okay, Horus, the Black Flame Dragon. You know what? Horus level six and, and Horus level eight aren't even that bad. Like, that's actually not bad. Ay, ay, ay. Not a single ninja grandmaster. That is. Okay, we got one. Jeez. I had to claw, like, fight tooth and nail for that one. I played everything I could. I'm in fucking absolute panic mode. Ah, oh, no way. No way. This is my last two draws. Wow. All right. Well, hopefully that's not torrential tribute or anything else that stops me. Oh, uh, no, that's the exact game. I'm dead. All right. Anyway. How much is this? No. Is this? Yeah, that's game. I'm dead. That right, is well, game. You are game free, boys. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are here with the episode of the progression series. We're on Rise of Destiny now, I believe, is the, the one. Let's see. We just did yep. Solo to Duelist. So, yeah. We're on Rise of Destiny. So, there's a couple things. We get a new tournament pack, finally. That's the first finally. thing. Finally. So, let's just look at this before we get into anything. Because we often overlook these. So, let's see if there's anything worth having in this thing. What the hell is this? Swiss Luminous Soldier. I, I've never seen that card in my life. Yeah, if the battles of Dark Monster increase this card's attack uh, by 500. And, that, and that's why I've never seen it. Unplayable. Okay. Big Show Gardner is unplayable at this point. Uh, I don't even... I mean, you have... Ooh. Now, the rares... The rares mm. are, like, really good, though. Why the are rares are kind of crazy. The rares are really good. Okay, we got some good rares and commons. I like these rares and commons. Yeah. But mainly, the rares are, like... We got Book of Life, Kaiku... Uh, I don't know what the Trap Board Eraser does. I forget. Okay, it's like a Nothing. Ring of Destruction thing. Yeah, so basically, Kaiku's in this as a rare, which is really, really good, considering that we are fully in Chaos format. Uh, and Book of Life is also pretty good down the road. So there's that. But, you know, the rest of this is just a rant. Like, none of these other cards are really that good. But it is a nice little change of pace from, you know, constantly seeing the same cards for so many packs. Anyway, let's get back to... Yeah, I think I have to... everything in TP4. You do. You, you have the entire set. You have a collection... Like a, like a play set of everything in that set. So here's Rise of Destiny, though. And I don't remember much about this set, except the creator. But there we are. It's the creator. My boy, Destalus. Yes. And then nothing else. So the Koichi's in this set, which is... Uh, the Koichi's good. A really good card. And then Destalus, like you said. This is low-key my favorite Monarch. I, I don't know why, but there's just something about Destalus that I've always liked as a kid... And I even like it in Edison format as well. Uh, I did, the other deck that I play when I don't play Frog Hero is is just like straight up Monarchs. And it does play, you know, some number of Dustalos, usually two. Uh, but I, I love this card. Like, it's actually my it's it's my favorite Monarch, to be honest. If, I, if I'm being completely honest, I know people are like, oh, Kai's is OP and Rise is so broken. But I genuinely love Dustalos. He just doesn't outside of like a straight up, you know, uh, Frog Monarch deck. He doesn't work in Hero Frogs. He has no synergy because he's fire and everything. And like, he doesn't remove things off the field, which is a lot of times what you need to do. So he's hard to play in that deck. But uh, there are other decks that play him. And I just really like this card. Any whore. Let's move on. What else is in this set? Oh, here we go. Monster Reincarnation. I just know that that is not Tragedy's artwork in America. No. We did not have a guillotine. <laughs> I think that our tragedy has a girl in an alleyway, though. That's kind of like scared. Yeah, I think that I think you're right. I think you're right. And I always used to think to myself, I just know it's a not a guillotine. Yeah, it's definitely not a guillotine. You're one million correct about that. I just feel like the one with the girl on it, though, and I feel like there's like a stalker behind her is a little bit. That one might even be darker to be like if you that, the, that one is kind of crazy. The it's insinuation. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah, this girl's about to about to get it. Yeah, the insinuation there is really bad. But Monster Reincarnation's in this set. Machine Dupe is in this set. Fusilier Dragon. Uh, I think for the most part, like that's the main things that I see there. Anyway, let's. Damn, down. I thought that was widespread ruin for a second. I did too. Chain burst. I was like, is that widespread ruin? I think widespread ruin comes out in a video game though, if I'm not mistaken. Like I don't think it's in a pack. Mm. I think it's a video yeah, game. Yeah, you might card. be right. And then we got Divine Wrath. 
that's a real card. Divine Wrath is Divine genuinely, Wrath is good. Yeah, that's a genuinely real card. Uh, what else? The Harpy Ladies are out in this set. Harpy's Hunting mm -hmm. Ground, which makes sense, so the Harpies can actually be played. Zing Zang Hu, which says, activate by selecting two set spell or trap cards on the field. The selected spell or trap cards cannot be activated. So it kind of freezes spells and traps if your opponent sets a bunch or whatever. Uh, Mirage Dragon was pretty dope in the day, back in the day. I don't know if you played this, Kenny, but I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it stops Battle Trap, stops Sakuretsu Armor, stops Mirror Force. Uh, and it's a, light, it's a light monster, actually. That's that's something. It is a light monster, so, which is like, hey, we'll take it. So this set has 92 cards. I just feel like these sets are so small. Like, there's not a lot of me here. They are really small. Yeah, there's just not a lot. Um, the Silent Swordsman thing is just Maybe like, like, not good. Excuse me, excuse me. Maybe, like, printing the ultimate rares was, like, more expensive and they cut down on the amount of cards or something. I'm not really sure. I'm just making shit up. Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened either, but there's a period of just small sets. Uh, we do have back to square one as well, which is like discard a card, target one monster in the field, place that target on top of the deck. So you can actually target face downs with this and it rises them. Yeah. So this is removal, like generic removal. It does cost you a card, but it spins it to the top of the deck. So like your opponent is for all intents and purposes, skipping their draw phase and they're losing their normal summon or set. So this, you know, this has merit. Uh, yeah, again, I don't really see anything else. So I think... If, if that's all, like, if, if this is what the set is... I mean, that's all. Yeah. That's all. There's nothing here. There's, yeah. I'm going to be honest. It's like, there's just not, there's not much here. Like, yeah. I don't think decks are going to change much if, like, the Koichi, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, Other I than that, tend to agree. So, we could just move over to the wheel, then. Uh, I think... Did you spend last week? No, you get to spend this week. Yeah, I didn't spend last week. Okay. So we're going to move over to the wheel. Both of us are going to get a spin. So let's just let's just get to that right now. We're not even going to. You can spin my wheel. So I spin hate my wheel. I have to always redo it whenever the audio is not being picked up. I hate having the wheel spin and you guys don't hear it. So I have to. I have to yeah, just like, that's not real. Yeah. So here's my spin. That's not real. I was you almost spin there. The I was you were almost, almost there. there. I almost had a mulligan. Nope. I almost had a mulligan ticket. All nope. right. Here is uh here's Kenny spin. Here's my spin, baby. Okay. And ultra, which is actually, I just realized something. We have secret rare on there and there are no secret rares anymore. Nope. <laughs> there are no secret rares anymore. So you can just get whatever you want out of the last set is basically what this says. That's actually yeah. what that says. So um I have yeah. to go look at it. If I remember, it's like yeah, it's the last set. That shit's trash. But yeah, there might be something fun to grab. Yeah, you might find something. I mean, yeah, you get any car from the last set, and we probably should edit the wheel at some point because these packs don't have secret rares. So an ultra rare is literally the same thing as secret rare right now. So basically, secret rares on here twice, or like ultra rares on here twice, however you want to look at it. But right now, we didn't realize yeah. our wheel doesn't have the right configuration for the next several packs until we get to whenever they decide to start giving us secrets again. Um, I consider this to be kind of like the Dark Ages, to be honest. I don't like this. I don't like this period when I, I think you feel it too. Is The sets are not, they're not setting. Like the sets are not the setting. The sets are bad. Like I, they're bad. Like, yeah. I don't know. Like there's good trinkets here and there, but they don't have a, they don't have a soul to them. As weird as that is to say, because the last set was called Soul of the Duelist. I feel like these sets are a little soulless. Like I just, I don't know. They just don't mm. have like a, like I saw, like for Ronnie Guardian, made me feel like I was actually in Egypt, right? Like I felt like there was like spies and gravekeepers and guardian sphinx and Don Salug, the dark scorpions. The, you know, like there's like a a feeling to Pharaonic Guardian. You know what I mean? Like Magician's yeah. Force, like you could feel the Apprentice Magician, the Old Vindictive, the Diffusion Wave Motion, the Dark Magician Girl, the Dark Paladin, the Skilled Dark, the Skilled White. Like you get the feel of these cards, the Breaker, the Magical Warrior. The sets had like a real I, feeling to them. The set makes me feel sad. Okay, well, we're going to get out of here and open our boxes now because... <laughs> I feel something. <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to transition to opening our boxes, guys. And uh, yeah, we will see you in a second. All right, so I get six packs of Soul of the Duelist per the wheel. And I get 24 packs of Rise of Destiny. And Kenny instructed me that I can actually do this. Like, I can add them both at once. So we're going to do that now. And so I guess I'm opening Soul of the Duelist first. So these are going to be... Uh, my six packs from the wheel so let's just see what i get now the only thing i actually want is ninja grandmaster sasuke to be honest and maybe horse level six so we we would be very lucky if we get those cards okay we're halfway there and still nothing yep this, this set god these sets are so 
These sets are something. This is my second Infernal Fire Blast. Yeah, congrats. Uh, yeah, and another Mind in there. So did not hit another, you know, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke or a Horse Level 6. Moving on to Rise of Destiny, though. This is the box that we're going to be opening for this week. So I don't even know if there's anything I really, like, want in this set, to be honest. Like, I'll take the Quichis, but I, I do feel like I just like Spy better, right? Like, Spy is just a better card overall. Um, the Quichis cute and everything, but I'm also just not getting any. So there's that. So we probably won't even end up having the option to play the Quichi. And maybe get some Mirage Dragons so that I can, like, have the option to play a light monster that isn't fucking Manju. There we go. Because Lord knows I am genuinely tired of playing Manju. And I don't know if I'm actually going to play Mirage Dragon because the stats on that thing are, are weird. Ooh. Okay. This was a good set. Well, a good pack. Let me not get ahead of myself. The creator. Yeah, let me read what this guy actually does. So he says, cannot be special summoned from the grave. Once per turn, you can target one monster in your graveyard. Send one card from your hand to the grave. And if you do special summon that target. So not really the most playable because he's two tributes. Nothing special. Though I'm not really sure if there is anything special to be had. Another creator. Um, literally nothing out of solo duels that I don't already have just a million copies of. So nothing there. And then uh, my Dekoichis, one is ulti, one is rare. It's kind of confusing to look at this. But yeah, every card can be ulti. So like they separate them, apparently. Like one creator is ulti, one is ultra. Uh... What is Perfect Machine King? Okay, this is also just like why? Like why is this an ultra rare? Like wh why would this ever be an ultra rare? Anyway, yeah. So this is this is what I got. It's nothing to write home about. Uh, but we'll see how I can figure my deck. I might genuinely leave my deck the exact same way it it already is. Like the only thing I would ever consider is taking out Manju from Mirage Dragons. But the stat line on this card is so bad, and I don't even know if Battle Traps are like that played right now to be honest so yeah just another week of bad light monsters here we are so i get a uh, any card i want from soul of the duelist which it's going to just be i think i might get in the third mystic swordsman but probably not i'm probably just gonna get mobius right so i'm gonna get mobius i like monarchs and i think i have everything else i don't think any of this shit matters if i look at ultra rares right I don't care about any of this shit. I could get a horse level six. I wouldn't mind having a second horse level six, but I'm probably just going to get Mobius and call it a day. So, yeah, I have Mobius. Uh, so, yeah, Mobius, bang, got him. Now I got to open the packs. Okay, and now we're back over here, and we are opening three packs of tournament pack five and 24 packs of Rise of Destiny. So, here we go. Let's see what this does for us. Flip cards. We've got nothing. Oh, come on. Ugh. Bazoo's cool, but man, I was really hoping to get another Kaiku. Alright, anyway. Let's just keep it moving, huh? Mirage Dragon's a good good little get. Good little common. Damn, I was hoping I was going to get Kaiku. be honest i'm about to run it back because i don't want to really change anything about my deck so yeah i mean if it ain't broke don't fix it the way i feel right now is my deck only has one glaring huge problem and it's the whole ritual thing but i again still don't have light monsters that are worth using and i'm not putting mirage dragons in my deck the stat line is just so abysmal for that card i would have to like do other things to make it work and i'm just i'm not even i'm not even trying to do that i did think about adding the koichi but i think i do think spy is just better and there's no room like i'm already playing 23 monsters which probably is too many monsters to be honest but i like every single one of them so i'm just keeping it where it is uh there may come a time when i need to i need to cut like yadagarasu and stuff but yeah he's been serving me to a degree he's very threatening uh, and I can flat out win games with it. He's just not light or dark, and he's not removal either. So he's a little bit hard to get in, and we're becoming more and more defensive. But Tribe is great. 
despite not being the, the right attribute. Everything else in the deck is just light and dark monsters that I need to play to support the Chaos Engine. And yeah, just a bunch of broken spells and some good traps. I added Mobius to the side deck, that's about it. Like, that's the that's the thing that I did change, I put Mobius's in the side deck. Will I side them in? Probably not. But uh, yeah, side decking is still a meme in this format, so there's that. But yeah, this is this is the deck. This is the deck, it's essentially the same from last week except the side deck, so. All right, <clears throat> we're back. Here we are with our deck. Once again, not much changes, this pack sucks. All we did, I put in Mystic Swordsman, which I got last week. I put one of him in, and just to like deal with face downs more. And I put Rhoda in. I got Rhoda 10 weeks ago, but never had a use for it. But now I can use Rhoda to get one of these three, which is just a light warrior monster. So Rhoda can grab any one of these three, and it can grab Mystic Swordsman. So I actually think I have a use for Rhoda now, which is kind of cool. It can search me a light monster. Or it can search me Mystic Swordsman level 2 to deal with a face down. I appreciate that. And I also put in Mirage Dragon. This might take come out in game 2 or game 3. Who knows. But I'm going to try rocking him for now. Just because he's a light monster. And 1600's okay. And you know, he's got a decent effect. So I'm going to give him a try. See how it feels. And yeah, we'll just kind of see how it works out. The deck's the same. There's not really anything different. Uh, just small little tiny tweaks. So yeah, that's the deck. This is it. We are here, Chaos Emperor Dragon. Good luck. Okay, so my die gave me this. So we're going with this. We're going second. All right. Good luck, King, as always. Good, good luck. luck. Good luck. Have fun. All that good stuff. GLHF. Okay. Draw a card. Oh, let me see. <laughs> what a hand. I want to see. What a hand. I want to see. Oh, okay. All right. You can put back the ninja. All right. He is going top deck and shuffle. Gone forever. Let's see if this is smart. Set. Set. <laughs> All right. Shuffle turn. All right. All right. Get up, Star Goblin. Right, summon. Summon's good. We're going to activate. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. Are you using priority? I don't have priority because of Sangan. Oh, cool. Uh, um, anything to Sangan's effect? Yes. Ooh. That's pretty mean. Pretty mean. Okay. Uh, What are we searching with Sanjan here? I'll get uh, DD Warlady. Get D. All right. All righty. Um, let's see. Is there anything else I want to do? So you have a set monster. No freaking clue what that is, but we'll pass. Um, we're here. Yep. Oh, your own. Okay. Take. We are here. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. So I'll go normal summon DD. And we will yep. crash. Let's have sex. Let's. Ooh. Let's have sex. Mm -hmm. Alright. Main phase Dodoros. Main phase. Hey, let's smashing ground? No. I'm gonna leave huh. This guy. Oh. Well, I was gonna get grounded. No, you're not getting oh, grounded. I was going to get grounded. Not just yet. Okay. So he wants another search. All right. We'll just attack. Okay. We will get our girl. Mm. Magician of Faith. All right. Uh, in turn. I'm going this route. Oh, yep. that is fine. No spells and then I will attack. I am going to. Now, this is interesting here. I'm not really about to give back this Black Illusion ritual. I'm going to give back Black Illusion. <laughs> I'm going to give back Black Illusion ritual. 
Uh, yeah. The relinquish is yeah. back in my hand. Is I, I don't have another way to get it out. So this, yeah. is the, this is the only way to convert the card. Main phase two. I will set one. Yep. And I will end my turn. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, priority on tomato. Yep. 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 He's gone. My, my tomato is going. Ah. Alright, well, we're just gonna smash him. Yep. He's dead. He's just. He's just annoying. And then I'll flip summon her. Yep. I'll play that card. Alright. Forceful Sentry. Whoa, Imperial Order. Yeah, you're lucky you have Cold Wave in play. Hmm. That's a card. You can just put back uh, Relinquished. Alright. Alright, I will set. Yep. And end. Okay. Flip. Ugh. Flip something good? Look at him. Yeah, flip someone's good. Alright, battle phase attack. Battle phase attack, huh? Mm-hmm. Battle phase attack. Yep. I'll take a hundred. Uh huh. Grab this. Okay. Oh boy. Summon. Summon is good. Attack. Take 13. Right, and. I'm on my turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're gonna flip her. Mm hmm. We'll get back mm -hmm. reborn. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's totally mm. fine. Mm-hmm. Search shot, my boy. I'm gonna activate this, get rid of you. Okay, I'm gonna take this thing from you. So his attack is now 16. So we're gonna go Manji beat over Magician. Uh, Reaper, get in. And Relinquish, get in for 16. Doing some damage, making some progress. Uh, don't I lose a card? Oh, yeah. You're right. Um, you just roll it. I'll roll a die. So, this one. There, smash ground. So now, okay. still don't know what you have. I think I just lose. That's what I have. I think I just lose. Pot, I'm obviously not going to let that resolve. That's problematic mm -hmm. as hell. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think I'm just going to admit defeat. Alright. Okay. Relinquished. I top decked that manager. I was like, we need to get this guy back on the field. Well, you don't have white monsters. You got to make the best out of what you got. And honestly, Relinquished has been pretty good in these games. Relinquished gets there, yo. Yeah, like he he's not bad. There. I know why he wasn't played in actual constructed back then, but like in this modified format, he's not as bad as you think he is. He fucking gets there. Yeah, I like it. I like the card. Damn, that last game, that Magician of Faith turn. There's three cards in my deck. I think I could have drew that would have did it for you. Yeah. Wait, what? What turn was it? When I set Magician of Faith, or when you set Magician of Faith? When you set Magician of Faith. Okay. When That's you were right. hoping I didn't draw a knock. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I was very afraid of specifically Nolman across out there, but obviously there was everything. Because you had Cold Wave, so there's probably other stuff that you could have drawn as well that would have been really bad for me. Non-spell card yeah. things, though. Because you can't you can't play spells in Cold Wave. But Okay. That Gravekeeper's Spock. Is it? I don't know. Yep. We'll find out. Or we might not find out, though. And then what that trap is. <laughs> I want to attack. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> oh, the insinuation there is hilarious. Man, just... 
You know? It's like Could just not work that. out. Yep. All right, attack. Yeah. So this dies. Do you take two? Yeah, I think you take 200. Okay, so Camera Saunders just said, no, you do not take damage. So there we go. That is our confirmation. Okay, so where were we? So your guy died, you gain your 200. Okay, so we're all good now. Um, then, it's still your turn. All right. It'd be cool if he could attack twice. Yeah, okay. um, I think there is a <laughs> Twin Swords of Flashing Light. I don't know what the full name of it is, but it came out a while ago. And that set with all the equip spells, and it makes a monster attack twice. My best friend used to play it as a kid all the time. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it lowers their attack, It though. does. I think it lowers it by, like, 300. But for the purposes of what you're doing, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's true. True. <laughs> you would be like, I clear both the spies. Like, that is more important than yep. him being 1800, to be honest. Getting them out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What the set one? All right, draw for turn. Let's go summon. Summon is good. Okay, penal phase, we're gonna attack into this guy. All right. I'm try to Sakuretsu her. She is not making it. We're gonna go special for the first time in the progression series. BLS. Okay. This is the first time he's made an appearance. Priority. I see. I see. Oh boy. He's so big. That's not good. He's so big and disastrous. This is my first time summoning my BLS. He's been stripped from my hand with Force of Century. He's been drawn at times where he can't be summoned or just not drawn at all. He's finally on the field. Ah, uh, yep, pot's good. Pot. That is that is quite the right. that's quite the draw to deal with my BLS. <laughs> that does not Dave. make me feel good. See if he can do something for me, man. Do something for me. <laughs> that was right on time. If there was ever a time was, to draw your pot. That was so on... I, dude, I, I drew it. You know what's fucked up, though? Is when I drew it, I didn't get happy. Because when I drew it, I was like, he's going to have Imperial Order set. Oh, I'm God, just yeah. fucked. The fear. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. just like... You have so much fear. Like, I'm just fucked. All right, I'm going to play Rhoda. Yep. For that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, I see where it's going. Yeah. Yep. Come down. Normal summon. Yep. Enter battle phase. Attack phase. So down. when you enter yep. battle phase, I am going to target this guy. Yep. 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 Okay. Okay. And before call it a haunt, then I'm set. No call the haunt. Damn it. In phase two. Set. And turn. Okay. Turn All right. Turn. Uh, standby phase. Yep. Oh. Yes, that actually. I'm gonna try to hold on as best I can. Yeah, that. God damn it. Compulse has been really annoying. I was like, this game is about to be fucking over if this BLS <laughs> flips. I was like, <laughs> I was like, this shit's. I gotta do my best here. I was like, this shit's coming to an absolute close if this BLS gets to flip up. Okay, um, we're gonna go normal summon target spy. Okay. We're gonna go in face, put her back, pass. Now this could be a mistake because putting my shit face down against you when you clearly are playing like Mystic Swordsman and Nolan is like risky as hell, but we're just out here at this point. We're just hoping for the best. We are hoping for the best, huh? How about that? Because I'm I'm trying to hide him from Ninja Grandmaster, but also yeah. that doesn't protect him from Mystic Swordsman. So it's like a catch twenty two. Like your deck is built in a way that it punishes both face up and face down defense monsters. Like they're in defense mode, they're in a bad spot. This is true. Just gonna have to set and mm -hmm. set. My turn. Okay, a double set, huh? So I'm gonna flip and activate. It is activated. Okay. Let's go target. Of course. Never a dull moment with the Kenny podcast over here. <laughs> um, Look, man, I'm tr I gotta try. I mean, you are. Listen. Back to target this spy. Oh, Suka Suka now. Yeah. Okay. And we're just going to go battle phase and attack face down and pray to God that it's not a goddamn magician of faith. 
Okay, yes, that's what I was hoping. That we just we just back off of each other. I don't trigger your effect, that you don't do anything <laughs> to me. It's just a very peaceful exchange over here. That's what I want. Ah, doesn't was hoping, feel peaceful. Doesn't I just, feel I just wanted a very peaceful exchange between parties. Oh god. This fucking card. Not you not you belting my VLS to its hand to my hand and then, <laughs> and then sending it back to my deck. Yeah. That well, is I mean that's what's you happening. Can get, right? You can get rid of him. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like we're not gonna <laughs> yeah. He's been forceful centuried more than like anything <laughs> else in this series. He can uh he can get the fuck out of and here. And because my deck is so it. big, it's fucking thirty cards, like I'm not gonna see him again. I didn't see him the last I hope time not. I did it. <sighs> Chaos Sorcerer and Suki Suki. Yes, I just need to hope that these goddamn Suki spies Suki. hold it down for me. One time. They're, I mean, they're holding it down. I just gotta draw. Just give need, me give me Sasuke. You need Zaborg. <laughs> Fuck that. I do need Zaborg. But I'll also take Sasuke. Yeah, Sasuke's good. Sasuke did go through this back row that I had, so. Yeah, so. Suki on me. Alright, Sasuke. It's your time. Did you play Rota this game? You did play Rota this game, right? Yeah, because you try to deal with the BLS with the Rota. That makes sense. So here we are. Um, I'm gonna end our turn. End our turn. I don't like this. I don't like this. Look, this is where we are. This is exactly where we're at. And I don't Hearts. like it. Kingdom Hearts is light. Damn it! Now you're now you just have a whole hand again. Yeah. That is kind of uh, what happened. All right. Well, I'm I'm impatient, so I'm gonna check this. It's this bitch every time, bro. <laughs> every fucking time I touch one of your face down monsters with a powerful spell card, it's this bitch every single time. I hate her. She's my girl, yo. She's my girl. All right. She holds it down for the homies. I hate Witch of the Black. I never knew that I would grow up to hate Witch of the Black Forest, but I literally despise this card. I dark hold last she week on a down, face down uh, Witch of the Black Forest, and this time I changed heart to her. I was like, all right, let that be like, you know, like a Magician of Faith or like a Knight of Salem or something. Or nope. It's like nope, nope. It's just fucking Witch of the Black Forest. I don't think I can convert this in any meaningful way, so I'm just going to give her back and pass and take my Neg One. Take the Neg One. Take it. Take that Neg One, boy. Yeah. Whoa. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Better to take that out. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that part out. Uh oh. Summon yep. Jinzo. Yep. And then which is the effect? Big J man. And then which is effect? Hmm. I'll put. I'll add Chaos Emperor Dragon to my hand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know those stats. Those are blue eyes stats. Um, let's do you. The Ghost Destroyer. I can't use you today, but hopefully I'll use you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna do this. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, there are no yeah, more spies because yeah. two of them are banished and one's face up. Yep. And then we're gonna enter battle phase and declare with Jinzo. Yep. And then, and then declare with both of them. 14, yep. Oh, we're God. gonna end our turn. I really need to draw a light monster. Okay. Uh, how's that for a light monster? Why'd you draw a light monster? Why did I? <sighs> Yeah. Effect. Spell card for this guy. I'm gonna go attack into this guy. If that's okay. It is okay. All right, take five. Fortunately. Yep. Right. Life points are getting a little low, but we are trying to stabilize here. So let's do this. Okay, banish Jinzo. Yep. Okay, so I can't stop that. So I'm gonna smash this guy. Yeah, we're gonna pass like that. Hmm. Whew. Huh, huh, huh. That is unfortunate. Okay. Finish. Summit. Yep. Target. As soon as Dueling Book would allow me, I will target Chaos Sorcerer. And then I will flip summon Chaos Sorcerer. Summon good. Yep. All right. Battle phase. Is good. 34. Attack that. 
Okay, so you're still, you still have a light monster, which is very, very good. End phase, put this back. All right, so Sork has done some damage. He's cleaned up the Genzo. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, and... he turned all of this around. He did. That light monster, I had to draw a light monster. I was like, I am in dire straits with your fucking Kaiku set up. Yeah. What are these back rows is the question. I'm wondering what's going on back there. They're just, they're just hanging out. They are kind of just, just hanging, hanging out. out. All right, you leave them alone. That was a very interesting draw. No, it wasn't. All right. It was interesting. What do you want me to say? Attack. This fucking thing. Yep. Yeah. I just don't have any way of dealing with this guy. Summon Thunder just Nadia. Just hang a lane. popped. Summon Chaos will serve your own. Well, yo. That'd feel good. That would feel real good right now. <laughs> that would feel so good, but alas, not what we're doing. All right, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Summon. Ooh. Summon's good. <laughs> Pat. I had to play through a couple things in my head, and I think that... I'll say what it is after, but okay. I think that it's fine. All right, I'm going. Oh, yep, I'm going straight to end phase. Yeah. Okay. Luckily, you. Well. Mm, I can't risk it. I. I can't risk it. I have to cold wave. <laughs> okay. I got you. I have, I have yeah, to cold wave. Yeah, like I cannot have this go anywhere. Just. <laughs> yeah, like it, it's just. I have to cold wave. Like there's no there's no way around it. Yep, I'll take eleven. All right. Start turn. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. I am dead. <laughs> Out of nowhere, I am actually just dead. Yep. This so was attack a... with everyone. <laughs> yep. I did not see that. I did not see me <laughs> dying. I was like, I should be fine. <laughs> I thought I was good. I thought this was my hood. I thought I was good. Oh man. All right. Well, I was that Whew. okay? I did not expect to just randomly die. I was like, okay, I can set magician to fade if I got like a turn to take a turn off or whatever. It was like, mm, mm. nope. Nope. I was like, I don't want to dark hole this Witch of the Black Forest. That just seems like a fucking mistake. Also considering the fact that you blatantly just have Kaiko and stuff. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, this is this is gonna be tough for me. Game three, you get to go first. Oh, and already I oh, see. Okay, well, you I need see. to shut the fuck up. I see. Right? I don't want. Um, I do not want you to open and say, "See, God damn." <laughs> I see goodies. I got so many goodies. Shit. Oh wait, hold on. We got more goodies. Wait. Oh my god. He's a whore. He's a runner, he's, he's a, a track star. He gonna run away when it get hard. Rota. Uh well, hold on. That's scary. In your, in your deck, that is very scary. I just realized what could happen. I was like, oh Rota's fine. Then I was like, wait a second, this guy main decks Mystic Surgeon level two. <laughs> 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 He main decks it. Motherfucker. Mm. Oh my god, that's going to be a magician of faith. Mm. I'm just going to lose. <laughs> to the pot brigade. The pot brigade again. Oh my god. I mean, obviously, if it's fucking Grave Hewer Spy, that really sucks. But it sucks way less than magician of faith, so. Yeah, I, I tend to you agree. Know? Anyway, that's, uh, you know. It's a spy. All right. I'll it's take not, 600. It's not faith. I'll take 600. What oh, the faith. fuck? Man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are not paying. You could have just let Rhoda ride. You know, I, you could have let it ride. I could have. It's the first. Rhoda got packed each so long ago. It's the first first duel that it's been in. Yeah, it did. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Rhoda, Rhoda oh, did fuck. get packed a long time ago. Summon? Summon's good. Okay. Three. Oh my god. 
We're just gonna get in. Oh wait, fuck. What? Okay, I'm gonna just try to do this. I'm gonna play this card. All right. Like now? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, when you play Change of Heart. Okay, okay. Uh, sure. I'll get rid of my dark. All right. Ball. Okay. I just, you know. All right. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Lowest to highest. Everybody in. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, how much is all that? I actually don't know. Uh, sixteen right, so plus 24. twenty-four. So it's exactly four thousand, actually. Okay. It's exactly four thousand. I think it's four thousand. Twenty-four and sixteen should be four thousand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you got upstarted, didn't you? I was over. Yeah, yeah. you were over. Was gotcha, over. gotcha, gotcha. And then you took six hundred from attacking to the spy. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you already turned your auto draw off, but it is off. It is off. Okay, in phase two hand. All right, come back. No, oh. <laughs> there is one more part to this, isn't there? <laughs> yes. Give him <laughs> back. All right, no, he's still mine. Your, I just tried to keep it. <laughs> All right, no, let's I'm see if this can get through. Let me try that. Yep. And then I'm gonna attack, attack. Tomato well, first. You should do it. You should then... actually declare the attacks. It does matter. Yeah. Tomato uh, first. Okay. Um, I hate this card. I'm gonna get rid of this tomato. Alrighty. Mm. And then ninja. Yep. So I take. Was that six hundred? Let's have sex. Uh, huh? Sexy time. Huh? Spy, ride out. Oh, you can draw. Oh, wait, now. I get to draw. Mm -hmm. It's very important. <laughs> very important that you do get to draw. I I just feel like in this position, this is heavily not in my favor. But I always say you gotta do what you gotta do. I, I think this is a miss. I legitimately think this is any. I don't think you can even argue this is good. But I don't really know where else I'm gonna go. So I'm summoning Chaos Emperor and just. Yep. I mean, it's a shit, attack. Yep, it's a shit ton of damage and everything. Yeah, this is uh, pretty bad for me. But all you have to do is draw Chaos Sorcerer and I'm dead. I'm gonna pay. Yep. Just put us in top top deck mode. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Yes. So what do I take? Three hundred times. Uh, so it's eighteen hundred. An additional eighteen. I think it is. Yep. All right. Okay. I'll get the spell. Alrighty. Okay. Trying to book them. Yep. Alright. If you drew. Alright. I was about to say, bro, That's you it. drew reborn. <laughs> If you drew fucking nice. Monster Reborn, what did you draw? It would have been nice. Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, Chaos Sorcerer with no grave? What the hell? Next week, we'll be doing one of my favorite sets, Flaming Eternity. I finally remember this set because this is when I first started going to an important local in my life, which was JMC Collectibles. This is where I ran into Sean McCabe. I meet Sean McCabe when this set is out. Uh, mm. So this is like peak Yu-Gi-Oh to me in terms of just like my transition from being basically a filthy casual to trying to become competitive because I learned about metagame.com when this set was out. I, I met Sean, I met like a couple other people at my local at the time and I got my ass beat every single week going here. My dad would drop me off and I would get scraped and he'd pick me up and he'd be like, how did it go? And I'll tell him how it went. And then I would go back the very next week like as though I did not get my shit pushed in last week. So yeah, that was my life for a while. And this set, just like, I distinctly remember Sacred Phoenix of Neftis, the ultimate copy, is still, in my opinion, the best looking ulti in Yu-Gi-Oh. I love the way that card looks. Um, but anyways. Sacred Phoenix is fucking awesome. It is. That's it just is all it. I gotta say about that. Sacred it's, Phoenix is really awesome. It's a really fucking cool looking card. And I like the effect too. I think it's a fantastic card. So, really excited for next week. I don't know all the things that are in that set, but I can see the cover card. And that just brings back a lot of nostalgic memories to me. So... Uh, we, we'll catch you in the next one, though. Peace. Peace.